All right, people, welcome back. More DevPro commentary. So we're joined by Omega Chaos. Hi, Omega Chaos here. Right, it looks like we're okay. We're not having any technical difficulties. For some reason, when we tried to join a match to observe, like, I would, like, my DevPro would crash or Omega Chaos DevPro would crash or, like, rip. So it's not very often that Daily Duels gets recorded ahead of DevPro Duel commentary, but eh, whatever, as long as it's uploaded on time. So we got some kind of uh, Zombro, zombie synchro light sorn ranks. Well, it's pretty much Minerva light sorns, I think. Okay. With some song engine. Yeah, throwing, in it. throwing some fairy tale. Got the Shirinili, got the Yim zombie. So this will be interesting, maybe. <laughs> but they still don't play Judgment Triant for some reason. Maybe they don't have enough light sworn names. Like, yeah, possible. Or, yeah, what, is, what are their light sworn names? Like Raiden? Maybe Wolf, because he's running the fairy tale deck. Like, I guess it's like a, a Minerva fairy tale deck. But he's thrown in the Shira Nui Mizuki plays, because why not? Because the thing is, you can mill Eclipse Viper and Fairy Tail, then you can punish Eclipse Fire and Vibrant for Fairy Tail, and then search for a Shotgun Dragon, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So it kind of fills that uh, spot that the Dragon Rulers used to have. <laughs> Good riddance. I was thinking that. Was okay, like, Lord Omega, of course. Yep, Omega, of course. So then he can go. Still very expensive. Yeah. So if, if, if you want to play some of this, if you don't have a lot of money, you're probably not going to be able to. Yep, yep. the deck that he's playing is probably really expensive. You got the Omegas, you probably have the Minervas. Like, this deck is probably over like $2,000. <laughs> So yeah, go. basically. You gonna go into Minerva this time, or are you actually gonna go into another Sync 8? You want another Omega? Nope, nope. Probably Minerva. Yep, there she is. Yep, look at that feel. <laughs> That's a fucking car right there. <laughs> That's a nice used car. Well, no, not nice. <laughs> oh, oh, held a light sign. Held that right in, so. Got some more in. That's probably plenty enough monsters for a, a snow, fairy tale snow. Banish seven other. And this card. Oh, wow, seriously, so wow. much charge. Wow. So sad. So sad. No, no, the card, the card is fair. The card is balanced. The card's not broken at all. What you talking about? It's not like fucking uh, our world champion sacked the living shit out of uh, his opponent with the what the magic specter opponent. What was that? Uh, top. Was that top four? Was that cell charge <laughs> <laughs> just send all that blue eyes shit to the graveyard just like oh still charge it all back because why not who cares about light point and like oh you can't attack first <laughs> it's just straight up plussing you're supposed to be negging on your plays you start off with five and now you have seven after synchroing and exiting like yep yep <laughs> well then i think that's pretty hard to get over mm-hmm <laughs> I'm still going off, uh, like, yeah, seriously. Why not? <laughs> I guess probably double Minerva, double Omega. Okay. Yep. Wow. <laughs> no, no, this is fair. <laughs> okay. Uni Zombie again. Not sure why. Just the deck then, I guess. It's not like if you can activate the second effect again, so. That maybe you had a seven. Maybe you're gonna go into like, I don't know, Moonlight Delta or something. Like, clearing. And so go ahead and put, put them two. Put those two in my focus pack. <laughs> That's not broken. It's <laughs> totally not broken. Ah, uh, but Konami didn't want to hit Omega, so I'll rip on that. Omega should probably be at one. Like he shouldn't be able to have access to multiple Omegas. <laughs> Yeah, maybe if it becomes like top tier card, but yeah. right now it's not really that played. Nice. All right. So, uh, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, boys get the shit beat out of them and they just get the feature around, but that's what happens when you open up the tits. Like, holy crap. You got so many cards. I kind of want to see how Blast is going to handle this situation. The only way to handle it is Neo Blue as Ultimate Dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah no one right. plays that. Though. No one plays that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need Poly for that as a contact? No, you need polymerization for that. No. Or Time as Mirror, but yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, the threat is already on the field, so. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm gonna trade in. Might have hurt. <laughs> Might wanna trade it in something. Trade in. Never mind. Never mind. I still had uh, another one. Another one. <laughs> Ah, uh, blue eyes and their alternative being able to drop freaking a three thousand beater with ease. Ooh, well then you can just go and just go into spirit, attack over that Minerva, and then just negate the Minerva. Yep. yep. So I'd probably pop one of those two. Probably pop that yeah, the Unit Zombie. Well, it's not too much of a threat right now. And no, oh, I guess then put it face down so you won't be able Ooh. to go into Spirit Dragon. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That, that fairy tale snow, though. If it doesn't miss timing, then it doesn't. So. I think the pop is still gonna resolve, but at least it's face down, so you can't see yep. anything. Yeah, it, it's F. Yep, this card is miss timing. So, snow effect. Put that face down, and rip because <laughs> that's how you're gonna go in the spirit run over that Minerva and these stuff like that yeah no oh, that effect as well Lol. oh my god <laughs> lol rage quit Whatever. I don't blame you all right we'll come back for game two all right we're back so real alternative switch so I'm trading uh I'm wondering if it's gonna get to that point you know I, I'm I'm actually wondering, and I have to see. We got a we got. I guess in. maybe it will if, get uh, power creep. Power creep. Or yeah, I'm wondering if Blue Eyes will eventually get power creep. Because he's going out is... most balanced at tier one decks in the most recent years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm predicting right now that we'll probably get a new ban list 2017, like January. Yep. You know, right before uh, DDs come out and they structure that, and if Blue Eyes is like top tier and they want to hit it. They'll probably hit it like a little bit, so maybe like a semi-limit to like maybe Melody. And then if it persists, they'll probably limit Melody down to one. And maybe Cost Spell could be limited as well. Yeah. Or yeah. 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 Ah, and we see that ally just a cycle reader. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, oh, freaking, uh, I didn't know the other guy went first. I said the blue eyes guy went first, never mind. So you can go ahead and catch this 3000 though. <laughs> So Cycle Reader, uh, probably a side deck card for all. <laughs> Huge side deck card, especially with ABCs coming out. Like, we already know, we saw it being cited like crazy at Worlds, so. This banished some two light monsters, it's gone. Make you miss your gospel target and everything. The problem is that gospel is still in there to protect. Wow, okay. So I'm guessing Extravagant didn't open up too hot, or... Maybe he opened up fantastically and he's about to go off. I don't know. I mean, I'm well, assuming... It's a Saki deck, so you can open up pretty bad if you draw, like, multiple wolves and Felices and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's probably the first one. Because <laughs> if he had something, he would have gone off first turn. Wow. Well, seriously, what the fuck is going on? Wow. <laughs> Metaphor. No, seriously, it's what such a this? bad play. Wow, so Twin Twister, you're like, only really so desperate. <laughs> really desperate, just to put the metaphors back. Wow. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I think mm -mm. the game is pretty much over. Yeah, though. this game is over. GG. Game 3. Yeah, game 3. Let's go, let's go people. Let's go to game 3. Like, you're still trying. So, okay, so you instant fusion, which means that you can summon Norden. Norden can summon Cycle Nothing. Reader? Like, oh, I guess it's kind of someone that. But, but that's a level that, three. So. so, what are you doing? Like, it's not, it's not a tuner or anything, so. You got something to normal summon? No, it actually is a tuner. Oh, shit, it is a tuner. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sakura is too strong. What's up with these level three tuner <laughs> hand traps? Like, they're too strong. Yep. So, go ahead and go into. Minerva, I guess, like, hopefully mill something good. Yeah, pretty much has to mill three dice once to get back into this game. Mill Wolf and get the summon, so. It's just, you don't have any 6-7s from what you've shown in the first duel. If you had some 6 where are your 6-7s? Like? Well, it has to have at least, uh, Michael. At least has to have that, I think. Yeah, yeah, he might have Michael. What's Michael? A... Is it a... Light Storm? I don't remember what, what is Michael Michael. It's a tuner and a one or more. Yeah, a tuner and a one or more. Non-tuner and a one or more. Wow, so... 
believed in the heart of the cards and miracles will happen. <laughs> and that that just goes to show that fucking Norton is still a piece of shit. He's okay, such a enabler. Wow. Wow, Kess is insurgible Valum. <laughs> Norton is such an enabler. Like <laughs> Yeah, it is, but right now it's not doing anything, so, no, so. it might as well stay at one. Yep. You're just pretty much promoting that institution should be played. You're like, Norton is still here. You got your uh, thousand I restrict to three now. It's like, play instant fusion. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, that was a nice play. Just, he had the Valor, so. But hey, you, you hand trapped him first. You started it, so. <laughs> like, hand traps, hand traps are about to be good. Especially, especially uh, uh, Reaper. Like, fucking Reaper. Like, I, I think yeah, that... but it's really only good against one deck. What are you talking about? Good against one deck. It's good against Blue Eyes. It's good against PK Fire. It's good against. It's gonna be good against ABC. Like shit. Oh, that's true. I <laughs> guess. Just put an yeah. ABC in. ABC, just refer yeah. ABC. Banish all your copies. Like wow. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's pretty good against this deck. Like I'm actually uh uh in my extra. I actually have a uh, a copy of uh Omega. So, <laughs> for my uh, for my cherry plays, just in case I run into like synchro fusionist, and I can make it with uh, a slip rider and a uh, a cherries if I happen to do that play. Okay, that's fine. So he gets pop, but he he has gospel. So, so I think we uh, I think we'll probably be taking this to game three. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, so. I definitely think Cherries is going to be some good shit, and I mean those three, those three decks are arguably the top three decks of the format for right now. Yep. Okay. No ABC coming out what like in like two weeks? In October. Oh, oh, October. So we got Coleman to wait. Uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like I thought it was sometime in September. Never mind. So. I definitely think that uh that it, that Reaper especially you just go call that spirit yeah well, call... well the thing is they don't completely rely on it yeah but it I mean it hurts <laughs> it hurts yeah slightly hurts yeah I mean they could still go into like they had the their level eight and there's someone their level two and you just be like all right uh, cherries spirit. I mean, if you want to go into Azure Eyes, if that's what you want to do, who's to say that you even have a freaking Blue Eyes in your, uh, in your Grave Raptor Summon? <laughs> so, I'd rather deal with Azure Eyes than deal with Spirit. Because then if you deal with, if you handle Spirit, then in a sense you kind of handle Azure Eyes because then you can't just jump out the way with Spirit into Azure Eyes because you don't have any Spirits. <laughs> well, if you hit Azure Eyes, they can still go into Spirit, and Spirit can hop on to other things like uh, Moonlight so and Michael, so. So if you kill their spirit, then their Azure Eyes might be dead. But if you kill their Azure Eyes, then it doesn't necessarily mean that their spirit is dead. Because they have other tag outs. Now, if they could only jump out into Azure Eyes, then it might not be terrible to call Azure Eyes. Because then they have spirit, but they can't tag out anything. You just run over spirit, but spirit can tag out into any uh, light dragon type synchro monster. And I know they run more. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. And popped up back in your hand, and you already used your normal summon. And you already used your Instafusion for your Nord. You got Regeki? He already used his, uh, his Gospel, so. You got Regeki, you might be able to stay, into this, stay in this duel. Where are we taking this to game? Wait. Who won the first though? I forgot. Uh, the lights one player won the first yeah, round. Yeah, so we might be taking this game three. <laughs> I kind of blanked. I was like, I was like, I remember Blue Eyes being summoned, Omegas, and stuff like that. And I forgot. Yeah, the fairy tale fucked this shit. So, <laughs> yep, that's that's the problem with that play, definitely. Unlike Azure Eyes, <laughs> the monster dies. <laughs> it's like a weird combination with uh, with Spirit and Azure Eyes. At least if you go Azure Eyes and they go into Spirit, whatever they tag out into will just die. That's debatable. Yeah. That's debatable. I don't know. 
What do you think? Do you think that Spirit's a better call, or do you think Azure is a better call? Yeah, probably Spirit. But it depends what deck, deck you are playing. If you're playing a pendulum based deck, you definitely want to call Spirit. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's probably not that important. What about like Cosmos? Probably Spirit, because it can negate your graveyard effects. Yeah, that's true. But Cosmos, I don't know, I don't know. I'd say Cosmos are like 1.5 now. I think they dropped. Especially if they're going to a Device Variant, because Device Variants are iffy. But I really think that Device Variants is like the only thing that can keep Cosmos competitive. Wow, alright, well... Oh, never mind. I thought that was his ending his turn. Wow, you really didn't have anything else to just summon and get the rest of that damage out? Hmm. This might be the time that Extravagant can come back. <laughs> Three cards yep. in hand, nothing to scoff at. You're summoning that fairy tale. Oh, well, you, know, you sent one from your hand. Oh, but you sent your, uh, your Shiranui guy, your priest. So you can go ahead and pop that, uh, Alternative, you don't have another gospel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Could actually come back in the style. Yeah. Problem is, just light points are low, so he could easily slip up. Like, you can, like, go into, like, a Minerva and then be like, oh, Molson or something along those lines, and he could just be like, all right, summon target attack game. Like, you only have 300 life points, which is very, very risky when you're dueling against... Yeah, like, Prima has to decay or summon everything in the in defense. Mm-hmm. I have to say, your soul charge is dead, but I forgot you already used your... You already had your soul charge already in this duel, because you, uh, Twin Twister did with that terrible play, and then you're into probably your one infusion, like... I'm not sure if you would play multiple institutions. I'm not sure. Like, why? I mean, you only have one Norden, unless you really want to have the high consistency of that. Well, most play free institutions just for one tar target because to just get it as fast as possible. Because Norden is just that good? Yeah, pretty much. It's so stupid. <laughs> I mostly tend to run a second target, at least. Like, why? <laughs> like a stick or a dark fire dragon. Alright, so... Depends what deck I'm playing. So like I said, that's fine, but like, so you're kind of still leaving yourself open here. I mean, at least you got that, uh, that fairy tale back in the graveyard, so... You can interrupt this place through that. Wow, and mill... That's not bad. Yep, mill the Lumina and the Wolf. Draw two and summon the Wolf. Like, God damn, the luck. <laughs> So, with that fairy tale back in the graveyard, he can easily interrupt his plays once again. I don't know, I think I, I think Extravagant might have came back into this. <laughs> Unless the blue eyes guys bust out like a Chaos Max or something. Mm -hmm. Wow, and then. Oh, no, Milta Mizuki as well. Two Mizukis! Alright, alright, I'm done. That's game. That's game. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wow. Wow. Oh, no, he does win multiple institutions. Wow. Wow. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> if only the freaking Ace Guy, the Blue Eyes guy had just... If only you could squeak out that 300. Like that life points don't mean shit until they hit zero. So, <laughs> that's a good example of that. I, I, I think there's a duel... Yeah, there's a duel where I was at 100 life points. No. My opponent had 100 life points left, I had 8,000 and I lost. And then there's a duel where I had 100 life points left, my opponent had 8,000 and they lost, so... <laughs> like, it doesn't matter if he's only at 300 and you're at freaking 8,000, because he's about to come back on your ass right now. <laughs> yep, go ahead and pitch that probably useless-ass Garnet. We don't need him. <laughs> Creature levels, and some Mizuki, like... Wow, Mizuki, some Mizuki? I mean, why not? It really doesn't matter. It's six, almost game. Yeah. So at 3,000 right there. Yeah, it's not game. If he runs Call of Call it actually could be game. 3,000. Not completely sure. 5,000. 7,100. Nope. It's not probably quite there. <laughs> but it's very close. Yeah, it's, it's close. He's just a little bit short of Cowboy, but like I said, he has that, uh, he has that fairy tale already. In the graveyard, so that enough is enough to interrupt the blue eyes player's hand. Hello? I'm not, no, I'm not answering the door. 
Nope. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to record, and you're gonna freaking ring the doorbell and bang on my door? Nope. Fuck you. Huh? See yeah, go ahead. I have no idea. Oh. Hi there. Miller? Oh, okay, it's game because Fairy Tail can activate the game. Oh crap, Fairy Tail's not once per turn. <laughs> Do I have to sign something? No, you're all. Oh, last game. Oh, yeah. oh that's because, game. Uh, GG. Wow, Fairy Tail. Pretty so. unexpected comeback for mm -hmm. sure. Yep. I forgot about the Fairy Tail. I thought it was once per turn. Nope. <laughs> and that's game over. That's game. We are done here, people. Wow. That was a good one. That was a good one. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Dev Protocol Commentary. So, thank you, uh, Mega Chaos, for joining me. No crack. Glad I joined always. So, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, see you guys next week with some more Dev Protocol Commentary. Alright, people, thanks for watching.